Hey guys, it's a beautiful sunny day here, so I thought I'd take this moment to talk about the Ford Focus and Fiesta dual clutch transmission. Can they be made reliable? My opinion, yes. Let me explain. Well, first, do I mean long term reliability? No, not necessarily. I think every 100,000 miles or so, give or take, you um, probably have to go in and freshen up the clutch pack and forks and all that. But um, depends on your driving, you might be able to go a lot longer. If you do a lot of highway driving, maybe you can get 150,000 out of the clutches. Maybe more, who knows? So if you're starting with a uh, transmission, a Focus or Fiesta transmission that has an issue such as a fork locked up, um, or if you just want to go in and make it as reliable as possible, um, the first thing, or well, one of the things that you'll have to do is uh, the clutch and fork replacement and slave cylinder. I recommend getting the Luck Rep Set. It's got all OEM parts in it. And I have a video on how to do the clutch job with no special tools. I can link these videos below in the description. Another very important thing is on 2012 through 2016 focuses, you want to get the updated design TCM. Those don't fail. They just don't. Um, and the original ones, those year models are the older style TCMs. The 17 and 18 model focuses have the newer ones. But um, yeah, those older TCMs can fail at any time potentially leaving you stranded so that's a definitely uh it's definitely a very good part to have on your car to make it reliable i'd say it's one of the most important on the transmission here if you have a 2017 or 2018 model focus just buy two new ford oem clutch actuators if you want to bulletproof the transmission those fail a lot on the 17 and 18 model focuses when you've got the transmission out doing the clutch take take a look at the uh, connectors for all three uh all three speed sensors that are on the transmission. The wiring at the end of the connectors likes to chafe and can lead to uh, signal loss to the sensors which can uh, which can actually strand you. If you've got a Focus or Fiesta with a high miles on it, you know, over 120 or 130,000, might as well just service the transmission with the um, AC Delco Friction Modified Synchro Mesh, the white bottle 75W80, Odds are there's a little bit of wear and tear on the synchronizers, and if you're using that stuff, it will prolong the life of the uh, synchronizers. You know, instead of going another 30,000 before you hear a crunch or grind once in a great while, you'll go another 80,000 or 100,000 before you hear that. I'm not saying all synchronizers are going to start grinding on these. In fact, it's pretty rare. Usually the internals are pretty rock solid on these. And all you got to really worry about is the clutch and TCM issues. So if your connectors for the speed sensors are in good condition, the wiring up to them, and you have a new OEM uh, clutch, forks, slave cylinder from the Luck Rep set, and you've got the updated design TCM, I think you've got yourself a car that's going to last you, it's going to go 100,000 miles without any major transmission issues there. And I feel confident about saying that because when I go through on my focuses and fix up the transmission, get the newest TCM in it from Ford. Um, I feel completely confident to get in and drive several hours to another state and back. And the only thing that's going to happen is um, these clutches are obviously, they're, they're quirky. You're, once they break in, you're going to get some shutter once in a while. Just drive the car hard occasionally to mitigate that. You can get a little bit of a lag in between gears when it's cold. That's pretty much normal too. They're, they're quirky transmissions, but like I said, if you get these parts in them, you fix it up right, get the new TCM in, then um, I feel confident that you're going to have plenty of good miles out of the car. The engines are in indestructible. They are so reliable. The 2.0-liter Duratex gas engine. And if you've got a transmission problem at the moment, one of your fork is or sticking, I would go ahead and replace both actuators. Don't get the uh, $50 actuators off of... Uh, eBay or Amazon, and I'm talking about the clutch actuator motors, by the way. Um, if your forks are sticking, it may have caused damage to those. Whenever I have a Focus that has a locked up or sticking clutch fork, occasionally there is an issue with the clutch actuator motor after that. You saw that yourself on this one, where I put the motors back on and I lost six in the reverse, and the actuator motor had died and caused that. Clutch actuator motors are expensive through Ford. Those are the best choice though. They're about $250 each right now, unfortunately. 
uh, Rock Auto do does have a uh, standard motor product brand for uh, 110 each, which I, I think I would trust that brand. Definitely more than what's on Amazon and eBay, those cheap ones. But whenever I go through once again and fix up one of these transmissions on my car, I, I feel completely confident to drive it anywhere and uh, not have a breakdown or transmission issue. And once again, it's not the most reliable transmission in the world, but if you fix it up like that, all the only issues I think you're going to have is every 90, 100, 150,000 miles, depending on how you're going to drive. Um, you'll just have to go in and probably freshen up the clutches, do the forks, the clutch, and the slave cylinder. And it's really not too difficult of a job to do. If I've got videos on how to pull the transmission out in the driveway and how to do the clutch with basic hand tools and once you get the hang of it the clutch forks and all that on the luck rep set which is a kit that comes with all the oem parts it's only about 600 700 i'm not a sponsor but it's not too terribly expensive and certain other cars can have repair bills that are significantly higher than that once you have an issue i just had a customer with a ford escape with 120,000 on it 2017 model they uh, just put a new engine in for nine thousand uh, dollars last week, and now their transmission died. That's another six thousand. And with a Ford Focus or Fiesta, that really the only issue you're going to have, that major issue wise, is the clutch forks and TCM. That's it. If you get a Focus or Fiesta with a manual transmission, especially a Focus, you've got yourself a tank. You could drive it to the moon and back multiple times. This is why I recommend these cars so much. If you um, if you learn the transmission work on it, you know how to drive it right, I've got tips for driving in traffic in one of these, then you're set. You've got yourself a great car. Just only has very minor other issues occasionally you might have, like a coolant bottle that has a crack, an engine mount that vibrates, a purge valve that might leak a little bit. That's about it. So yes, long story short, you can make these cars reliable, the transmissions. Well, yeah, that if you make the transmission reliable, the rest of the car is going to be reliable. And I think overall, even though the transmissions are quirky, these are good cars to have, especially if you can get used to fixing them yourself occasionally. And there's a lot of other cars nowadays that have plenty of planned obsolescence built in so that you keep buying new cars every five or seven years. And these, with the exception of the transmission, are the opposite of that, I would say. Just really uh, good cars with only occasional minor issues here and there that are cheap and easy to do. I'm going to stop the rant there and I'm going to go ahead and get the door chime going here. Don't you just love hearing that for the whole time? Thank you so much for watching you guys. I hope this was helpful. Have yourself a fantastic day. Enjoy your Ford Focus or Fiesta and let us know if you have any questions. We're happy to help. Uh, I'm, I can answer questions in the community here. You guys watching are very helpful as well. We've got a Facebook and Discord group, so if you want to ask questions in real time, it's up to you. All right, take care now. Bye-bye.